and um, here we go. So make sure you have your uh, MacBook 2010 white and uh, 2010 edition. It may work with uh, the other editions of the uh, MacBooks, but I suggest you um, if you will try it, you're trying it on your own risk. But it will definitely work with MacBook 2010 white. And uh, I have make sure you have something underneath of it. And uh, over here, I have my uh, Scorpio. Um, Black Series Western Digital Hard Drive right here. Let me put it for you so you can see it. Make sure you're in static environment and um, this a Scorpio edition. Oops. I'll put it like this. Black Series Hard Drive, which is. Um, ultra high performance uh, 2.5 inch factor hard drive 500 gigabytes from Western Digital that um, takes uh, power as, as much as 5400 RPM but this is a 7200 RPM hard drive and um, it's very quick very quick comparing to a, a MacBook hard drive and uh, it has 16 megabyte of cache and it's a SATA capable of SATA 3 uh, gigabits a second of tensor so it's very very quick hard drive and it eat same amount of energy as in MacBook 2010 which is 5400 RPM by Toshiba which is kinda crap but today we're building MacBook by uh, we're building MacBook by Alexander Morose and it's going to be a MacBook 2010 white Alexander Morose edition. Also I have here Corsair DDR3 8 gigabytes in total 4 gigabytes per chip and uh, it's uh, 1066 megahertz memory with lifetime warranty on it not one year or two years like Apple gives you lifetime warranty on it and um, let me bring it to you so you will have an idea and please watch this video uh, if you're watching over the YouTube switch to the 1080 or 720 for the better quality so this is my memory And I'm gonna put all the uh, description of the uh, things that you can see, even the cover, uh, on the video description. So I'm gonna put the title name so you can go ahead and buy yourself from Amazon or Amazon Plus New Egg. As well as I have, it's green over here, as you can see, this hard drive. Beautiful piece of art. Black Series it has five years warranty on it and uh, it's built as good as server hard drive as also I have here general set uh, this set I, I grabbed myself from a, a Home Depot and you need to have this set because basically uh, MacBook 2010 is going to require tools that in this set and this is the ultra tech tool system by general and uh, today we will be needing um, uh, two types of uh, two types of it's going to be triple uh, dash triple zero and dash double zero screwdriver and it's in this set. Also this set has some uh, other screwdrivers that is useful if you're gonna um, take apart the whole Mac. So this is a good good set right here and it's uh, around $20 at Home Depot and it's very useful. 
you need to have handy around it if you're a man would you use so you can use it for something else as well it's a nice general case as you can see it's a leather all right also I have over here on top I have the cover and I have one on the bottom which is black I decided to go black and white and but I removed the cover from the black uh, from the bottom part and today we're gonna work with the bottom part and I'm gonna put in video description about this cover so don't miss it out so uh, this video may be split it into multiple parts so make sure to watch them all and uh, I'm gonna put the parts in the description as well so I'm gonna use the triple dash uh, triple zero and it's a Phillips look like a Phillips and it's going to be dash triple zero from right here this one with this guy right here okay I'm gonna set this in and I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew every single screw with that screwdriver it's all eight screws and I'm not suggesting you to try any different screwdrivers because you can the, those screws easy to strip and uh, if you don't want to strip no screws use the dash triple zero screwdriver and uh, make sure that you're watching all your uh, bolts I mean all your screws because they're tiny and it's easy to lose lose them so put them somewhere so keep them somewhere you're not gonna lose them so let me go ahead and unscrew it make sure you're in static environment anti-static environment so you're not gonna bring any static to the laptop but since I'm working with that um, hardware computer hardware for 10 years so take apart first take the corners nice and easy no rush everybody can do this it's going to be a pretty simple tutorial everybody can do it take in the corners and place it right here don't leave them on the cover because when you're gonna pop this white cover what what can happen they can j just jump and you can lose the screw so what you gotta do you gotta unscrew the screw and put them over here one by one until eight screws And also, I'm gonna have a video tutorial on how to install the Windows 7 as your dual boot on the Mac. So you can use both. It's very useful for those people like me, like a software developer, so for people who just jump from PC, they can use both. All right. And then what you gotta do, just pop the cover really nice, no rush, and place it somewhere. there is no seals in here so if you will open it nobody will see it so you can be uh, don't worry about that there is no seals and the memory is right here and the hard drive is right here so first thing what you gotta do you gotta change the screwdriver alright and I just changed the screwdriver to a uh, dash uh, double zero which is right here this guy right here alright and um, let me tell you if you want just to remove the memory from your uh, 
laptop and upgrade the memory, you don't have to use any other screwdrivers. All what you gotta do just pump this and those two little things and uh, get the memory out. Very simple. Make them loose and it's gonna come out. And here's the memory they're using. They're using the Samsung. And let me go ahead and put it for you, actually, so you can see what kind of memory they're using. I'm gonna zoom in. Which is crappy memory, by the way. But Samsung is a nice brand, so this is their memory. And uh, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the latency and everything. And the memory. This is their memory. And it's going to be two by uh, by one, which is in total two gigabytes, because MacBook from default uh, from Apple comes with two gigabyte of DDR3, 1066, and uh, megahertz memory and uh, 250 gigabyte hard drive. So that's how you pl replace the memory. You just put them away, and uh, it's easy uh, to do. Let me go ahead and switch the camera so you can see better. Alright, so I'm going to install my 8 gigabytes of memory. And it's easy, you can see there's a shirt over here and long over here. So that's how we're going to put the memory, like this. First you're going to put on the bottom. The bottom goes first. Uh, like, take your time, don't rush, don't break anything. Make these two things loose and you can put the memory like so and make sure it's fitting perfectly okay like that and um, second one like this make sure it fits in there like that you close and you're just gonna see just barely as you can see um, so it fits if it's gonna if you see, gonna see those gold connection coming out more means that you gotta push it a little bit harder but then in the end we're gonna check it when we're gonna run the MacBook we're gonna check how much memory we got so we just replace the memory so that's what you gotta do if you wanna replace the memory and no screwdrivers but if you would like to replace the hard, uh, hard drive after that you gotta unscrew those two screws this screw over here and I suggest you to use the uh, dash double zero screwdriver and this one over here so you gotta unscrew this like so it's a long screws I bought my set at the Home Depot, you can buy it whatever you want if you're in different countries, just you can uh, give me a suggestions in the comments where I can get it, just put it in the comments. Alright, so, and here we go, with second screw we can get it out, and uh, then we're pushing by this, and getting out our hard drive, but there is like a hard drive cable right here, as you can see. And uh, we just gotta un uncheck this, very simple, disconnect, and uh, then we are going to connect with uh, our hard drive In, into this, uh, right here, we're gonna connect this cable back, like it was in the previous hard drive. And very simple, there is no way you can do it incorrectly because it's not going to fit. We just place that and then you need to remove the sticky from the old hard drive, sticky tape, and place it on our new hard drive so you can um, use it like so. Okay? And uh, then 